I'm finally down in the barn. I've got all of my coolers right here um, below me and I'm getting ready to get into the freezer. It's a mess. So everything's piled in there. It was organized and then we got the fresh pork and you know how that goes. You just shove things in here. Well, today I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna organize the two new freezers that are up in my garage. So come along. unloaded I've got one two three four five I do have six coolers um, two of them are totes but I got to work really quick but I just want to go over a few things before I get started um, and I've also got some helpers so we'll see how long they last in here so we've got the freezer inventory sheet I did my mealtime saver on my website so the freezer inventory sheet part of it now has five pages which is great so I really sat down once I got these two freezers and I wanted to make sure this was user friendly, not just for myself, but for all of you guys. So you're gonna be getting these when you subscribe to my blog. If you already subscribed to my blog and you've gotten the old ones, email me at hello at littlehousesimpleliving.com and I'll send you the updated freezer sheets. Okay, let's go. So just a couple of things that I found that might come in handy you can actually put your sheets in a page protector. So, you know, one of the school things, maybe your kids use them, I use them. You could do that, like put them in here. Clipboard I highly recommend. I've got command strips and I'll show you. I put them up there yesterday. And these are gonna be hanging on each end of the freezer. So that way when I come out here, it's just super easy. Uh, dry erase markers, got these at um, Dollar Store, super easy. So you could just write on your thing with the dry erase marker and then you don't have to worry about erasing or if you use pen. And from my um, chicken coop I'm building, so if you see me sweaty, I'm in Florida, it is hot, so excuse the appearance. Um, I also picked up 12 of these and they do come with lids, they're just in the house. So I found these at the Dollar Tree and I thought they were perfect for little things that go in your freezer. So I'm gonna show you something that I just bought at one of my local stores. Um, these are, remember when you were a kid or maybe you were a kid, um, the freezer pops. Okay, those are junk. These are actually good and they're filled with fruit. So I'm going to stick these in one of my tubs like this. And that way, I'm gonna separate them and let them freeze. And then that way, if anyone wants a popsicle, you can just go to that. And I'm hoping that these stack pretty nicely inside the freezer once I get in here. Another thing before I get started, I do have to work fast and I'm not gonna turn this into, I'll probably be in here an hour, but to respect your time, I'm just gonna kind of show you what I've done. And then this is gonna make it really easy. So I started with, the last one okay so I'm starting with the meats so I broke it down into categories of every kind of meat like you might have uh, beef chicken pork fish and we have venison so if you don't you know have venison you could always cross through it um, and then any kind of miscellaneous meats that you might have and I don't maybe you have elk um, I don't know whatever other kind of meats you might have. Down to ready to eat food. Like that's any kind of food that you can take out of the freezer and pop into the oven. My husband loves tater tots. And I don't buy a Rida anymore. I found a brand called Alexia and he loves them. So I have to keep my freezer pretty much stocked with tater tots. I'm not talking like 20, but I usually have at least four or five bags at a time. So I've broken it down for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then I've also put in here bread and dairy. So if you make bread, you want to freeze it. If you want to do, I actually make biscuits up, um, like maybe on a Sunday morning. And my recipe makes like 20. Well, we're not going to eat all that. So I'll make them 
cut them out, put them in a little Ziploc freezer bag, and then I could just pop one or two in the oven at any given time. So that's pretty cool. Um, okay, so next up is freezer meal. So if you either make ahead or maybe you have leftovers, like if I do like a batch of stuffed shells, there's always like 50 stuffed shells, right? So we're not gonna eat all that. So I'll make them into individual proportions. So if I'm, you know, not home one night, maybe I'm at a meeting or I'm out of town or vice versa with my husband, one of us could just pop something like that in and we would be fine for the night. So I have that. Um, I make a lot of bone broth and, oh, here we go. So I buy rotisserie chickens, um, chickens, both um, raw where I cook it or pre-cooked like at Sam's. And Sam's, if you don't know, they're um, hormone free and antibiotic free. So that's a plus and they're really big chickens. So when I'm done, I put the carcass and all the bones in these bags. I think I have about four in here right now. So I'm gonna be making my own bone broth with these. Okay, um, soups. I like to make soups and freeze them, so that's gonna be going in here. And then I have a little section for miscellaneous. And then I have a section for vegetables and fruits. I've got a whole cooler of just peaches. We love peaches. So at peach season here, which is from May to June, I stock up. And then I've been doing the peach truck that comes, I think at the end of June, Maybe it was the first, no, it was the first part of July. I ordered another 25 pounds because, I'm just telling you, we love peaches. So I went to the store and I didn't want to go to the barn because I knew I was doing this. So I went ahead and just put some stuff in here. So we're going to organize. These are those ready to eat, Alexia, onion rings, potato pops. So I'm going to get those organized. ginger chicken dumplings. If you have a fresh market, that place is awesome. I shop there a lot. Um, then I've got sausages. I can buy these in like a five pack at Publix. And I separate them out because three would be a serving for me, my mom, and my husband. Um, if you have an earth fair around you, this salmon, there's a bourbon salmon and a garlic. These are $3 and these are excellent, either on top of a salad or just, you know, as your main meat uh, for a meal. So I'm gonna be putting those. I think these are gonna go in these little totes. And then if I don't, uh, these are uh, black eyed peas. If I don't grow them, then I go to a local farm that does and I buy them like this and keep them in the freezer and this is, ready to go when I'm ready to go. This freezer, these are both identical. We got ones that were made for the garage. We didn't know this, but if you buy freezers and refrigerators for your garage and something goes wrong with it, they won't warranty them because they're not made to withstand the heat here in the garage, but these are. We found these and I am so excited. So I've got five, no four, I've got four of these little um, like door tray things that hold the smaller. And I've got these, they almost look like a crisper in the refrigerator. So I'm gonna figure that out. And then over here, this is our cow we just had processed that we raised. Um, I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna get all the meat in this one. So I'm gonna start with the vegetables and the fruit in here. And I'm gonna see where it takes me. I'm probably gonna have to put meat in here as well. So. Those drawers are already full. I got over like 101 pound packages of ground beef. Um, so, all right, well, I'm gonna get started. That would have worked out. I mean, today I've like worked my whole body. <laughs> okay, so I have the two different clipboards and here's what I've done. I sped that up because I've been out here for a while. Okay, so look into this one. Okay, so I did not have 
room and this one for all my needs. My goal when we bought the two was, I told my husband, I'd love to have one for me and one for fruits, veggies, and other things that go in here, but apparently we have more meat than I thought. <laughs> okay, so we have farm-raised pork that we got from a 4-H um, at the fair back in April. So this is all uh, ground pork. I like just the ground pork because I can make my own sausage and I make the meatloaf a lot. So it's perfect. These are one pound packages. Um, so I've got my ready to eat, all those potatoes I talked about earlier. These are my uh, frozen beans. So I've got vacuum packed, I've got the black eyed peas and whatever you know I've had in there. That's what I'm just gonna, you know, whatever I have, I'm just gonna stick in there. Um, so this is all pork right here. So I've organized pork chops. I've got one bacon. I've got some ribs. I've got a loin, pork loin. I've got some tender loins. This is all my chicken. So I have less chicken than I thought. So I have breasts in here. Um, oh, those are those freezer pops because I couldn't find a place up there. So I've got my sausage and I've got my four um, chicken in a bag. Um, I just got them back in May and June, so I'm going to use these sparingly. The big bags make a cobbler or a crisp, so I meant I pre-measured when I did that. Um, oh, I buy this at Sam's. It's organic ginger, like four bucks, and you get a ton of ginger in here. So ginger is great for you. free freezer inventory sheet 
So if you already have the Meal Time Saver, what it was when you signed up for my blog, you got the Meal Time Saver free, and that included one page of the freezer inventory sheet, a pantry inventory sheet, and a meal planner, like you can plan out your weekly meals. Um, so if you already have that, email me again. I said that in the beginning, but email me again at hello at littlehousesimpleliving.com and I will send you over the new added freezer inventory sheets. Um, and you guys can print these as much as you want if you wouldn't mind. So I would love it if you would share this post um, with all your friends, this video, and instead of just sharing the sheets, I would love for you to forward this. That way I can reach more people and then they can download these for free. I really think a lot of people struggle with this department in your homemaking um, part of your, you know, your duties because this is a big deal if you just don't know what it, I mean, I couldn't tell you years ago how much food I'd throw away. It was always at the bottom of the freezer. Oh, let me tell you about this. So we went with upright freezers. We had a chest freezer before, and they're great. I mean, they still hold stuff, and they usually come with like little baskets on the top, but I'm short. So I was always falling over, digging in there, and I couldn't find what I needed. So we got the one in the barn that I showed you early in the video, and I love that, and we just got these because we needed garage-rated refrigerator freezers. That one's gonna go up to our hunt camp, so that one will be gone. This is all we're gonna house for the family, so I'm so excited. So again, I hope this was helpful, and I'd love it if you'd share the video. I'll drop a link to this down below, and if you have any questions, feel free to email me or leave some comments down below. So hope you enjoyed this, and I'll talk to you guys later.